Hi, Bon One here again. Uh, here's the final piece of the puzzle on uh, normal mapping and specular shader for static entities that also works with light mapping. Okay, let me show you this effect real quick. Okay, here we are in FPS Creator. This is a, a pillar, which is a static entity. Um, that has normal mapping applied and you'll see that it also caches shadows, it also receives shadows and still works with normal and specular mapping and I'm giving this pillar away for free. Okay, when you extract the files um, the shader will be in your effect bank folder in a folder named PS30, this is a pixel shader 3 shader then entities static and the uh, shader is called norm alpha spec tangent basis now let me tell you the rules for this shader number one it's for static entities only don't try to use it on anything else and you need a pixel shader 3 compatible graphics card um, the texture or the, the shader requires two textures a diffuse texture and a normal map texture and they must be in the uh, texture bank folder. That's where you need to store them. So for this uh, sample file, it's called uh, containment pillar. I just have it in a folder named containment pillar inside my texture bank folder. That's the free uh, entity I'm giving away to use with the uh, containment room. Um, now, uh, one other word. Let me go to Photoshop here this only uses two textures, a diffuse and a normal map so you need to have a way to control specular well that's done through the alpha channel of the normal map uh, the alpha channel of the normal map contains your specular texture so when you save your normal map you'll need to save it in a uh, DDS format that has an alpha channel uh, then let me mention one other thing that's odd about FPS Creator. There's, a, I said it only requires two textures, but that's not entirely true. Let me go into in this uh, texture bank folder. You'll need a total of four textures for this to work. Um, the D and D two textures you're familiar with. Those you always have to have those. Uh, your normal map that has the specular in the, in the alpha channel is uh, has the N suffix after it, but you need one more texture for this to work. You need an I texture, and that is just a duplicate of the N texture. You just need to copy your normal map texture and rename it to uh, the uh, I suffix on the end. So you'll have a, four, a total of four textures, but the I and N textures are just going to be duplicates of each other. That's just an oddity. Uh, for some reason, FPS Creator needs those to be in there. But I found that when you build your game, uh, you can go back, if you have image block turned off, you can go back in and then afterwards delete those eye textures. But, you know, before the build process, they have to be in there. So I think that covers about everything. Just remember, textures go in the texture bank folder. Um, you need a D, D2 texture, an N texture with an alpha channel that stores the specular map and then you just need a copy, an exact duplicate of that N texture and you need to rename it to an I texture. So a total of four textures for this to work. Okay, have fun.